Long before the arrival of the Spaniards, there already existed an extensive region consisting of the present provinces of Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur, Abra, and La Union, renowned for its gold mines. Merchandise from Japan and China would often visit to the trade called with beads, ceramics, and set. The Austronesian inhabitants of the region called their place Sam Tai, from the word of Sao Mi Tai, which literally means our language here. Ilocos Norte cover a total of 3,467.89 square kilometer, occupying the northern tip of the Ilocos region in Luzon. The province is bordered by Cagayan to the extreme northeast, Apayao to the east, and Abra to the southeast. Most Ilocanos are Roman Catholics and Aglipayans, which originated in Ilocos Norte. Prior to the arrival of the Spaniards, Ilocanos were animists who believed in spirits called Anito, who were either bad or good, male or female. For example, Litao were Anitos of water, Kaibaan, also called Kanibaan were anitos of the undergrowth in a forest, and mangmang kik were anitos of trees. The mangmang kik were often freed for causing sickness where a fellow tree was cut down. The Malinawin festival came from the name of a woman made popular in the popular Ilocano folk song, Pamalinawin. The festival is celebrated in the city of Blawak, Ilocos Norte to promote camaraderie and sportsmanship. Mostly rice, corn, vegetable, root crops and fruits, tobacco, cotton, and tiger grass. The festival is celebrated in Blawak, Ilocos Norte, Philippines to commemorate the city patron Saint. St. William every first week of February for one whole week. From a simple celebration of the feast day of St. William, it became an extravagant festival that features the culture and heritage of the city with a variety of activities. Bado Badok Festival Badok is known to be the one of the oldest towns in the province of Ilocos Norte and the birthplace of Juan Luna, the most famous Filipino painter. The Badobadok Festival celebrated the rich history of this town of named after a humble grass called Badobado, which was growing abundantly along its river bank. Visiting Ilocos Norte Are you planning on visiting Ilocos Norte? Or, if you don't have vacation destination in mind, why not visit the beauty northern coastal province of the Philippines? Ilocos Norte has a ton of exciting places to explore. Whether you like sites that are rich in natural beauty or enjoy the culture and history of the destination, it's all here! The Singing Bull Tower, if Italy has the Leaning Tower of Pisa, Lawag City has its own local version, the Singing Bell Tower. This edifice is one of the tallest bell towers in the country and it's located in the heart of the city. As of today, it stands up 45 meter tall. The tower is called a Singing Tower because it's incredibly heavy and it was built on a sandy ground. So the combination of the loose foundation and its weight made it sink considerably into the ground at a rate of an inch every year. Normally, bell towers are situated near a church. However, this tower is far away from the cathedral. Lapa Sand Dunes Ever want to visit the Sahara Desert in Africa or the deserts found in the Middle Eastern countries? Just come and visit the unique geological desert environment found only in Ilocos Norte. The La Paz Sand Dunes 
these sand dunes, their heights ranging from 10 to 30 meters, were created as a result of the interrupting wind, sea, and river. Malacanang of the North Malacanang of the North was built as the official residence of the late President Marcos and Ilocos Norte. It is a two-story building located near the legendary Tawai Lake. The residence is complete with bedrooms, a dining area, a kitchen, an office, a spacious ballroom on the second floor, and even had Olympic-sized swimming pool. Also, it has expensive terrace and a beautiful garden with magnificent view of the lake. Tawai Church Tawai Church is a national treasure of Alacandia and a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was built in 1896 by the Augustinian Hires using coral bricks, which can be seen from its massive walls. Also, a prime example of a rope church, it brings along a picturesque view to the remnants of the Spanish era, with details like enormous and magnificent buttresses of the sides and back of the building. From Lawag City, it's just a 30-minute ride to visit tourist attraction in Hawaii. Once you've visited the Malacanã of the North in Cuba, go straight ahead here. Playa Tropical Resort Playa Tropical Resort is situated in Purimao, Ilocos Norte. It's a Valens-inspired beachside style, having room in one, enjoys stunning sunset and a constant. Gentle ocean breeze with a beach where the calm waves and fine sand reminds you of the infinite wonders of the world. Playa Tropica also an incredibly friendly stuff, reflecting the brand of the hospitality the Filipino are known for. The suit rooms are very clean, large, and comfortable. And the location is also close to all the popular tourist spots located in Bata, Hawaii, and Lawag. Marcus Museum and Mausoleum Marcus Museum and Mausoleum is located in Batak City, Lawag City. Just a 30-minute ride from Lawag City. The museum can easily be found, as it is near the bridge where all the public buses stop. The museum houses memorabilia of the late President Marcus. It is incredibly well organized, making it a very enjoyable experience for visitors to learn about his life. Ang Luna Shrine The Ang Luna Shrine is situated in Bado, the Locos Norte, and houses the famous Luna's family's memorabilia. This includes Ang Luna's paintings, namely his masterpiece, the Scolarium. The house has two stories, the ground floor, used to be the basement, while the second floor is for living room and bedrooms. Today, the ground floor displays different memorabilia not only of one Luna, but also Antonio Luna and the rest of the family. Bacara Domes Tower The Bacara Domes Tower is a 15-meter tower and was built in 1830, but was damaged in 1931 by an earthquake. Another strong earthquake with a 7.8 intensity in 1983 caused its dome totally go down, thus gaining the romanticized the title Dignified Domeless Ball Tower in Asia. Bakara is town adjacent to Lawag City. It is just 15 minutes away, Museo de Bakara, which houses many artifacts, is right near the Bacara Tower.